so my question is, is the, the, the following one. Well, as you say, the worst seldom happen, in fact. I could multiply examples in my, for I remember when I was a young director of the policy planning staff in the French foreign ministry, everybody was talking about uh, uh, thieves uh, or terrorists uh, using plutonium uh, uh, in the Hudson River and uh, this kind of horrible scenarios which, which never uh, uh, happened. And we could multiply uh, scenarios like this. The problem, it seems to me, is that today the degree of uncertainty is uh, probably higher than any time I remember before because of the complexity of the world and uh, playing with all the possible conceivable scenarios create this degree of uncertainty and therefore the degree of anxiety, hence I suppose the pessimism you mentioned at the end uh, of your presentation at uh, Bali. So, uh, from a theoretical viewpoint, the link between the real economy and the monetary financial economy is through uh, some measurement of uncertainty to uh, uh, formalize this kind of uh, situation. So, uh, I, I, I don't want to push you to be pessimistic. Uh, on the contrary, I think what your, your rational analysis is extremely precious. But uh, nevertheless, you know, if you uh, integrate uh, some measure of uncertainty in your uh, implicit equations, uh, what, what is the uh, what is the the, the, the outcome? Uh, how do you how do you modify uh, your relatively optimistic description on your real? Uh, Side the economy at the first part of your speech. Uh, I would make two points. The first one is it's not clear that this is the highest uncertainty that we have faced in a long time. I can tell you that in 2009, I was a bit confused as to where we would be in 2010, and I suspect you share my confusion. So, uh, no, I, uncertainty happens. Uh, it's now a different type of uncertainty. I mean, sometimes you have, you know, you have uh, statistical uncertainty, uh, and then you have, again, subjective or Nietzschean uncertainty, which is you know that things can happen, but you can't quite get your hands around it, and you don't know exactly what the effect is. I think the financial crisis was more of an example of that, and this is even more, in the sense we have a very hard time thinking about all the implications, say, of a trade war. Uh, we probably are missing a number of them. Uh, so that's the first part. The, the second is, you're completely right that, and I'm, I'm going to give you a nerdy answer, uh, showing that I'm still an academic, uh, but we used to think of models in which our decisions depended on our expectations of what would happen. I think we've learned, and we kind of knew it, but we've learned empirically that it's important. That it depends very much on uncertainty itself. Now, how you react depends. And for example, if as a consumer you know that you face more uncertainty when you're old, you're likely to save more, for example. Uh, but if there's more uncertainty about your time of death, maybe you save less. However, there's a case in which it's completely clear, which is investment. Because here the question is, if you think the uncertainty is going to, at some stage, resolve itself, so there's going to be, you know, Trump will be out, or there'll be some agreement on Brexit or something like this, then you know that if you wait until then, you will actually be able to take a better decision. So you take the decision which to you is a minor decision, which is, well, instead of you know, spending the funds this year, we're going to wait two years. And for an individual firm, it's not an enormous deal. You're just putting money aside. But for the economy, it's less investment, and it can lead to a very large decrease in investment and recession. So these uncertainty effects are clearly essential, I think, to understanding the world today. Well, thank you very much, Olivier. So I think we will stop here. At least there is one area where the degree of uncertainty is relatively limited. This is what we are going to eat uh, now. Uh, so thank you uh, very much again. Tomorrow we will have a session on the future of the euro. And uh, I am sure that uh, we will have uh, uh, a, a very rich session in terms of uncertainty 
uh, as well. So thank you very much. Bon appétit and uh, uh, et, 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 à, et à tout à l'heure. <laughs> Merci.